Hi, it's Mrs. Jones and welcome to my garden. Today on a special edition of Straight From The Garden, we'll be featuring collard greens and we'll be canning them today. So come on, let's get some collard greens. Now the wonderful thing about collard greens is they're so easy to grow. It's one of the things that beginner gardens should have. You pretty much plant it as long as it's established. You can just forget it. Colored greens are packed with vitamin A, a little bit of vitamin B, some calcium, and uh, lots of fiber. I like collard greens as a side dish. Sometimes I add it to other meals like rice and beans or pasta, red sauce. And as you can see, these leaves can get pretty large. The smaller ones are much tender. You can even eat them raw if you're into the flavor that much. But I prefer to cook mine. And when it's this abundant, it's great for canning. Now the thing you have to remember about collard greens is that it does reduce or shrink down quite a bit because there's a lot of water content. So in terms of canning, you have to get quite a lot of leaves in order to fill a few jars. So today I'm pretty much taking all of my mature leaves and I'm going to use that for canning. Okay, now if that's not a lot of collard greens, I don't know what is. Be right back. So even though I only use organic pesticides for the occasional um, caterpillar, I still want to make sure I rinse these from all the dirt and you know traces of insects or you know the occasional frog or lizard that may be hiding in my leaves. I'm going to wash these thoroughly and then we'll be back for the next phase. Okay, so we have washed all of our collards. Um, we got rid of all the dust and it's important also to get rid of any yellowing leaves. I'm not too concerned about the holes in the leaves because when you do organic gardening, you tend to have a lot more pests. So it just means my leaves are attractive to nature, which is okay. But before I go inside, I want to make sure I clean up all the rest of this, um, the dead and dying brown leaves so that my plants can have a nice fresh start. All the leaves like this that have some yellowing on it. It's mostly because they're close to the ground and they're touching the dirt. Not that it's really diseased from, you know, pest or anything. But the low-lying leaves, when they're in touch with the ground, they tend to die off. And plus, they're the older ones. The older leaves die first. So, 
I'm getting rid of all of that, making sure that my plants are, you know, ready to go. This was a young one. It's, you know, I'm just going to pull this out. The caterpillars like my leaves. Anyway, I'm going to put this in the compost and then we're all set.